Hello everybody, this is Matt with Technoax Royalty Free Music and this is not going to be very formal at all. And I don't know why I decided to do this uh, video where I'm in the cam, cam mood I guess. You know, this is my bedroom. It's not very professional. Uh, maybe one of these days I'll, I'll get a, a light to put my face and there'll be even lighting and uh, maybe I'll get a background so it's like green or something like that so I can superimpose myself against some sort of weird background i don't know uh, video is not my forte i'll say that it's, i'm i don't really need a good video production quality to do music who knew but in any case uh i just want to kind of make this video to you know kind of play around with some ideas and let you guys in on a few things uh for one i've got a vid.me channel that i just set up um the link is in below uh, the description below it's vid.me slash technoax and um i basically set up this station as kind of a backup channel just in case on the odd event that youtube actually does shut down i'm not gonna i'm it's not it's not really a good chance that it will happen it's just basically something that i'm doing as kind of a pragmatic approach to some of the changes that has been going on and a lot of people are freaking out and it's understandable that they are freaking out because you know youtube is going through some challenges right now and obviously you guys know that the advertisers are going away from the site and that poses a danger to the channel and the channel the uh the youtube website is reacting by trying to censor some of its more offensive uh, opinions to, in order to basically try to get those advertisers to come back. And um, while it doesn't really affect me personally uh, on a financial level, because I never really made a whole lot of money on the site in the first place, like usually I make enough to make a cell phone bill. It's really not that much at all. But I know that there are a lot of people that are affected, especially people who actually use my music. There's, I know that there are some people that are affected quite a bit because they make videos for a living, essentially. And some of those people are not politically correct, you know. And uh, that's okay. Uh, like I said before, that I'm all for for the freedom of expression. If, if there's anything that I do fight for on this channel is the right for you guys to express yourselves and uh, say what you want. Like I will never uh, take down a video with my music on it because you say something that I disagree with. That's something I will never do. And really, um, I, I never take any videos down in the first place because why? I mean, you guys who use my music, you are the people who have exposed me to the rest of YouTube, essentially. So how could I be uh, so ungrateful that I would, you know, s censor your video that's using my video, my music, especially when you're actually citing me as the source, because you know that people come back from that, that link and basically, and I know it because people express who you guys come from like Jack Septic guy or Manga Binks or you know Black Pigeon Speaks of course because I know the, who those people are wizard of cause you know I know all these people because people come back from those videos to basically announce where they come from and also to just kind of discuss the music as well but also um you know where they came from it's it's a bit of a tradition too. I'm not the only person who has experienced this. I know that uh, Rooster Teeth, for instance, when they cite a video on the podcasts, they're all over the place. Like they say, Rooster Teeth podcast, you know, coming to a video on YouTube that they really liked and they liked it enough to put it in a podcast. So I know this is tradition and this is a part of the platform and it's a platform that i have kind of been involved with uh, since 2009 and for me uh because it's been since 2009 there's a really big community aspect to it, it all you know this is 
where I come to be entertained, to find new ideas, to discuss political topics, and to be entertained. Like, I stopped watching television. I have not watched television on a constant, regular basis since 2001, really. Like, I, you know, sometimes people, my friends, like show me the stupid shows on YouTube uh, on on MTV and I'm just floored by how how much I am not entertained by MTV or anything else on mainstream. Yeah, that's kind of the reason why I write my own music, but in in terms of being here on YouTube, I watch YouTube because it's not the mainstream. It's not what Hollywood ha wants me to watch, you know. There's a very organic, very sincere, very um, tangible difference between YouTubers who are behind a webcam and who do their own thing and postulate their own ideas versus the, the whitewashed, totally um, cleansed, totally safe area of television and, and, and mainstream radio too. Like, um, and that's not, that's not a hipster thing to say. We're all here because YouTube is a more entertaining place because the people who are making the videos are more like us and not Hollywood celebrities with million dollar mansions in, in, in freaking Fresno, <laughs> Fresno, no, Hollywood, Los Angeles, whatever. Uh, so those are my thoughts, and I just wanted to make a video about that. I'm not sure what the point was, except for that um, my, my point of contention with YouTube is their constant obsession with the money. And I realized that YouTube needs the money to survive. They need to profit in order to be able to be worth something to Google and therefore they need to do certain things. But if they throw the gauntlet in too much in the direction of television, people are just going to leave. They don't want that anymore. I don't want that anymore. And it's something that if you throw away, I feel like it will be picked up by another website it won't be the same, but YouTube will have thrown away something that is completely unique and, and valuable and something that needs to exist because it's something other than what the corporate people want you to see. <laughs> I, I don't know. But in any case, um, should I switch subjects i feel like this video has gone on quite long although a lot of people you know go on for about two hours if they want to i'm not that interesting but in any case uh i'm going to be uh, basically keeping on and making music regardless of what happens i hope you guys are are doing good and and you're weathering all this really good i know a lot of people are freaking out and and i feel for you guys um I, for, let's talk about music. How about that? How about that? So for music, uh, this year has turned out to be quite eclectic for me. It's, uh, for the last four or five years, I've been kind of doing the electronic dance music to build up to a final mix, basically. And what I mean by that is, for the last like four years, uh, I've been doing kind of like a mix between four different genres. And the concept was that I would finish out the year with um, a number of tracks to be able to build this really massive, long two hour mix for you guys at the end of the year. And last year, 2016, I kind of branched out quite a bit to the point where I had to basically do a bunch of remixes to um well i had to basically re remix some tracks and do all these little funky tricks where i extended the mixes to basically be able to do a two and a half hour mix and 
I feel like in 2017, I lost the plot. I, I got so eclectic that I don't know if I'll be able to do that to, um, that two and a half hour mix at the end of the year. And maybe that's a good thing. You know, um, right now I'm focusing on, uh, trying to do new ideas and, and take my music in directions that I've never done before. Um, and, um, the thing that will probably suffer is that end of year mix. And I don't know that people will mourn that, you know what I mean? Like, um, the end of year mix is nice, but I feel like you guys have come here more for the quality of the music. And I feel like that's the thing that I should qual, uh, that, that I should focus on now. And right now, electronic dance music is up in the air. I feel like, you know, dubstep is still kind of like popular, but there's a lot of change happening. I never expected you guys to like the synth wave thing that I did a couple days back so much. And I feel like a lot of people are basically just yearning for something different, even though dubstep is good. I feel like people want something different and that is causing me to kind of reach out and do different things and see what sticks you know what i mean and that's i feel like i should do that if only to basically keep my me on my toes to inject constantly inject new ideas into the music and keep it uh fresh for you guys and make it so you guys are never bored with the things that i come up with granted keep the quality yes but also just uh, come back with like ideas that basically you haven't heard before or is not really all that uh, covered uh, as much on YouTube. Um, and the the biggest uh, surprise out of all of this, of course, is when I look at my playlists that you guys peruse to basically get your music, the most popular mu uh, playlist right now is rock and, and heavy metal. Whereas uh, two or three years ago, it was electronic dance music with the dubstep and the and the drum and bass and everything like that. Now it's totally reversed. Uh, like it's uh, you know the electronic dance music is still high up there, but it's mostly rock music and then then uh, background music, which is kind of like the background music, really simple stuff and everything like that. So um, going forward. I feel like I don't really have a plan. I'm just going to create and whatever comes to mind, I'll, I'll, I'll keep the variety up. So you guys have a variety of music to kind of draw upon, but it's, there's going to be no plan to upkeep some of the traditional genres that I've been keeping around for a lot. That means a little bit less dubstep, a little bit less drum and bass and a little bit more of this new stuff that's coming out and I'm going to be keeping my ears out for, for like the changes in these genres to basically see if I can't learn what's going on in, in the sense of what's trending in, in new, uh, underground, I guess you could say, I'm not going to go, go through a mainstream pop, but what I'm saying is kind of keep my ear, see if I can pick up on, some new things coming through like, you know, local scenes and stuff like that and the electronic dance scenes and also rock as well. And, um, it'll be a little bit more diverse and hopefully you guys enjoy it. And that's it. Um, I do have the, the gaming channel that I do every once in a while, but I, I feel like you guys are here for the music and, uh, you know, maybe, I can work some way to kind of integrate that stuff. But once again, you guys are here for the music. So I hope you guys enjoyed that rant. And I will see you guys in a little bit. Um, Music-wise, of course. Thank you.